Hey YouTube, this is Crystal. We're over here at the church parking lot across from our house letting kids ride bikes and play. Uh, been nice weather that we're having here. Uh, been in the low 80s, high 70s most of this week. Most of the week it's also been raining except for yesterday. Had a little sprinkle today, but uh, been pretty nice weather today and yesterday. Uh, last week was rather chilly. Uh, we don't typically have real cold weather here in May, but uh, at least one night last week, it got down in the 30s, high 30s. It was pretty dang cold, and a few nights in the 40s. Uh, last time we remember May being this cold was six years ago, right before our oldest was born. It actually snowed in May. That was when we lived in uh, on some friend's property in Oklahoma. But uh, this week's been real nice. Uh, real breezy here today. Hey, Bubba, you want to say hi to you too? Hi. <laughs> Man, it's hot. It's not hot. You've just been riding around. Yeah. <laughs> You've been riding your bike like a champ, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm sweating. Well, that's good. What are you doing recording me? There's Jeremy recording me for some reason. <laughs> Don't know why. Look at this beautiful view, everybody. Ain't a goober head. Hello. Hello. <laughs> why are you recording me at the same time? You're weird. He's weird, y'all. If you haven't already, you know, noticed. <laughs> but we're just letting kids play. Of course, the cats follow us over. They're playing with the puppy. I'm getting my puppy tomorrow. Yay! She is a pit German Shepherd Cross. I'm really excited to get her. We've raised, uh, we're raising our second pit bull now. We've had some others in the past that uh, ended up uh, not working out, unfortunately. Uh, one puppy actually ended up, uh, eating something. She literally got up on our deep freezer and got something off our top shelf in our pantry. Don't know how she managed to do it. And this dog actually managed to ingest something and killed herself, which was very unfortunate. But... Yeah, we were at home, came out, and found out she didn't look at, <laughs> look at Zoe taking the apple. <laughs> There's our little pit puppy thinking she got to steal an apple, and <laughs> we need it. Silly girl. All right, my eyes might that, about to eat apples and bananas. Yeah, bear would. But, uh, anyhow, so I'm excited to get my puppy tomorrow. But we're just enjoying this nice, pretty day in Natural Dam. We uh, tried going swimming down at the uh, dam yesterday, and you did. Yeah. Oh, squish it! And uh, the water is still too cold for my liking. It needs to be several weeks in yeah, the 80s or 90s. I stepped and in it. I, I, I stepped off in it yesterday to about my almost my knees. I turned around and said, "No." It's too cold. <laughs> it's pretty cold, but the summers here are very hot, very muggy. So we'll be we'll be going swimming pretty soon. And uh, <laughs> but we uh, haven't been up at the property very much. Uh, we did go last week, like Jeremy said. Him and his brother went kayaking his brother got bit by a rattlesnake because he decided to be a dumbass and try to pick it up and, and, and uh, you know of all snakes he decided to try to pick up a baby rattlesnake and josh if you if you're watching this video i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and say it right now you're a dumb son of a bitch for, for trying to pick up a rattlesnake anyway uh so we didn't uh get to post a video last week we're you know after the death of our dog we've kind of lost a little bit of momentum we're trying to get that back. Uh, been doing some cleaning up on our property here. Um, trying to keep the grass cut. Stuff like that. We've been uh, driving around. Trying to see what 
wild edibles are coming up. Excited about that. I found a whole road, basically, of blackberry bushes. Elder. Elderberry. We have some elderberry growing in our yard. That I planted last year. Yeah, that he planted last year. And they're doing really well. They they are growing very, very well. So I'm very excited for those to grow and produce some elderberries. I love elderberries. I harvested uh, last summer. I harvested a whole lot of elderberries. I'm going to show you something, okay? Made elderberry syrup for last winter for coughs. Uh, my kids love it. It helps a lot. So I absolutely love elderberries. Can't wait for August to get here to harvest those. I'm going to harvest a bunch of elderberry, dehydrate it. That way I have dried elderberries. They don't go bad. Make some elderberry pies. My husband wants to make elderberry wine. Go figure. Um, but we're looking forward to picking blackberries. We tried finding morales this year and couldn't hardly find any morales. But, you know, they're... There's always next year. And uh, so it, it's springtime. We do like springtime, except for the ticks and the fleas. Man, they're bad. Uh, our puppy Zoe, she's 10 weeks, 6 weeks. And uh, today. Tomorrow. today. Tomorrow. And uh, today? today, Thursday, yeah. <laughs> she's 10 weeks today. Oh. And um, so... Uh, been bathing her, trying to get any fleas under control. Uh, we're going to get flea and tick granules for the yard. Try to get that, you know, taken care of. And it's a constant challenge in the country. Take care of fleas and ticks. But anyhow, uh, we'll be going back up to the property soon um, to work on it some more. You know, springtime brings out, you know, wanting to go other places, wanted to, you know, do adventuring, go swimming, stuff like that. So we'll be doing more videos on kids swimming, having fun. Uh, we'll most likely, when we start going and doing uh, foraging for wild edibles, we'll do some videos on those. Uh. <laughs> You okay? Uh, so, we'll be doing more videos. Like I said, we've just been trying to get stuff at our house cleaned up. Uh, you know, it's just a constant progress. Jeremy cut down a wild cherry tree limb that was hanging over our driveway. He went ahead and cut that down. So that way a storm wouldn't knock it down or something. We've had that happen in the past. So just been working on stuff here and there. Working on cleaning house since it's been raining all week and just regular daily stuff. I dehydrated some cherry tomatoes earlier this week. I turned those. I use those in recipes. Basically make a sun-dried tomato. Um, I plan on making one of these days, hopefully, um, a solar oven up at the property as well as um you know um basically outdoor dehydrators i've seen plans on how to make those you know using screens you just use the sun and stuff so um I, i've researched a lot of off-grid stuff like that in the past and you know life just gets in the way and you end up not doing certain things you know you end up concentrating on other stuff and just get off of your goals so hopefully i can start doing stuff like that soon cheyenne stop it anyway i'll turn it over to jeremy see if he wants to say anything i'm good um you good uh, i got a headache right now oh he has a headache okay anyway well we're out here just letting the kids play and the six-year-old's dragging the three-year-old across the grass so i don't know why but <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let her up. Let her up. Come on. Anyways, y'all, uh, as she said, we, you know, we did some stuff up there on the property. I, uh, uh, our last day there, I went ahead and cut, cut some more trees down to make our, make it basically a circle to where we can just pull in. I can back, the, I can back the camper up a little bit and to pull out. 
we cut down some trees so that way I could swing it and I wouldn't have to worry about breaking a window or whatnot. And when we go back out there, we're going we're gonna go out there tomorrow on the way to go get her puppy. We're gonna stop by it. I'm gonna make a quick video and show the circle driveway and a few other things. And so so y'all will see that part tomorrow. Until then, y'all have a good day and thank you for watching our videos and until tomorrow. Have a have a wonderful evening.